What's going on you guys? My name is Kirby Downey and welcome to another awesome video. This right here is the XYZ Printing DaVinci Color Printer. It's a new kind of printer that's uh, recently been announced on the market and this right here is a beta test unit. I've been part of the, um, the beta testing designer program that they have launched. The idea of this is they've gotten a group of designers to, together, sent them each a printer and all we got to do is just make some awesome designs on it. So this is not a review on the printer. This is my initial thoughts of the printer and the, the capabilities and my plans that I'm going to do with this printer and the videos that are going to come out of this. Let's start off. It's a big printer. Um, I don't have the biggest lounge so you can see it was quite a bit of a mess to, to unbox. Just keep in mind that everything that I got in this box may be different to the final release version. Um, a lot of things are going to change. Um, a, a lot of things that we are doing is giving back, giving feedback to the company, so that if there's any problems, they get them fixed before the release. When I unboxed this printer, I plugged it in and turned it on and just started printing. I wanted to see what the out of the box experience was, and it was very good. Over here, I've got my first print, which is a little surprise, Patrick, and I printed damn well, like. I was actually surprised uh, by how how well this printed straight out of the box. I printed one of their sample pieces, which is this really cool mask, and this blew my mind. Um, a lot of the photos and that stuff that I've seen was quite washed out, but this blew my mind. Um, I don't expect the colors to be this vibrant, and at the back you've got some of the text, and even that comes up quite well. So once I printed this, I decided to start coloring my own designs and then started printing out these little cubes. Um, I do these little cubes that I can print them very quickly, um, stop them halfway, see how it's doing on the inside um, and learn how the machine works. And it's a very simple machine. Um, all it does is it prints out a little layer, it stops to the side, lets it cool down and then the print head will just go across and move from side to side printing in it like on a normal piece of paper. Genius. Simple. So I started experimenting by taking some of my old models and adding color to them, still figuring out how it all works and the tricks and the techniques needed for that. And then I experimented with a bit of image mapping, putting a picture on a on a design and seeing how that comes out and how much detail I can get out of that. All of these are being done so that I can learn the, the limits of the machine so I can start to push those limits um, and seeing what else I can do. So I'm pretty happy with this machine. If I could pull out quality products like this, uh, props and stuff like that that come out fully detailed and colored, that would be amazing. That's my goal with this machine, as well as experimenting with other little unique things and trying to find a market and trying to find where this can be placed and where its best uses are. So I mean, that's going to be my next adventure for the next little while. Um, I'm going to be making designs for these, I'm going to be uploading it to their website and possibly my mini factory, I'm still discussing that. Um, so that when this printer comes out and you decide to pick one up, you, you, you can go ahead and download those files and start printing already. Um, on top of all of these cool designs that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making tutorials for you guys on how you can take some of your favorite designs, like my Patrick Buda, and use free software to add color and to brighten them up yourself. Um, I think that's very important because there's not many color models out there and for you guys to be able to do it yourself you're gonna learn a lot and the whole community can share all of these great and fun ideas. So I'm quite excited for all of this. I'm also going to be making a couple of videos on any problems that I run into that can be fixed just by your settings and that stuff giving you guys a little troubleshoot guide of any of the problems that I ran into that you could potentially run into as well and how to fix those problems. And these are these are problems such as misalignment of the ink, how to change your ink cartridges, how to clean your ink, ink cartridges, as, as well as getting it to print on the correct side of the parameter. As one of the problems I've already encountered was the ink was placing itself on the inner parameter uh, where it should be placing the ink on the outer parameter and I figured out the simple fix was there was a setting um, that's just changing the material. Now this uses a special blend of PLA called CPLA. Um, it doesn't use regular PLA. 
and all of the material and ink is proprietary so you do need to buy their materials so you need to keep that in mind when looking at this printer but so far I'm happy with it it's a very easy to use simple to use out of the box machine and looking forward to when it comes to the launch see what changes have been made and how much impact we as the designer as the designer program have made to make your lives a lot easier and I'll be having some fun with us making some really cool stuff from little things like these to hopefully big props and uh, idea of those is that I can just print them out finish it assemble it and it's finished the colors there so it'd be quite exciting I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like and comment down below if you have any questions about this machine I'll be able to answer them down below please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about this printer and see you guys in the next one